Sage CRM is customer relationship management software that integrates directly with Sage 300 ERP. Front office staff can use Sage CRM to create quotes and orders and to promote one or more quotes to a new order. As each sales opportunity progresses from a quote or order to an invoice sale, its totals, forecast amounts, and other details are updated automatically wherever they appear in Sage CRM and Sage 300 ERP. In this video, you'll learn how to use the integrated order entry screens in Sage CRM to create a new quote, select multiple quotes to promote to a new order, and view updated forecast and opportunity totals. Say you're a salesperson dealing with a customer named Ronald Black. This customer is stocking a new warehouse and has asked for multiple quotes on different types of office furniture. You've already created two quotes for the customer, one for office supplies and another for desk chairs. Now you want to create an alternate quote for chairs, this time offering a 5% discount if he upgrades to a premium model. You want to include this new quote in your forecast and totals for the opportunity, replacing the previous quote for chairs. After the customer chooses a quote for chairs, you'll select multiple quotes for this opportunity and promote them to a single order. And throughout the process, you'll keep the forecast and totals for this opportunity accurate and up to date. Let's start by selecting a company. You can right click the Find button and click Company. And then use the screen to search for a company. The company summary screen shows information about the company. The company icon indicates that you're now viewing Sage CRM in the company context, which determines the tabs that appear here. This company is a customer in Sage 300 ERP accounts receivable, so the customer number and database ID appear at the top of the screen. Whether a company is a customer in Sage 300 ERP or in Sage CRM only, you can use the New Quote and New Order buttons to quickly create a new quote or order in Sage 300 ERP order entry. When you do this, Sage CRM automatically creates a new opportunity and links the new quote or order to it. If the company is not a Sage ERP customer and you promote it later, all opportunities and linked documents will be updated. To see sales opportunities for this company, click the Opportunities tab. The numbered opportunities you see here have been generated automatically. You're currently working on the warehouse supplies opportunity, so click that to see details. The opportunity icon shows that you're now in the opportunity context, and the available tabs have changed to reflect this. On the opportunity summary screen, stage and status indicate the progress of the opportunity. Forecast indicates the potential value of the opportunity if all the quotes that are included in the order are promoted to an order. As you'll see, this amount is updated automatically as you add and edit quotes and orders. On the Opportunity Total tab, you can see at a glance how much of a quote is pending and how much has been ordered, shipped, and invoiced. To see summary information about the quotes for this opportunity, click the Quotes tab. You've already created two quotes for this opportunity, one for office supplies and one for chairs. Both of these quotes are included in the opportunity totals on the opportunity summary screen and in the quote amount on this screen. Now you want to provide an alternate quote for chairs. Click the new quote button. On the Quote Entry screen, check your default document and expiration dates and make sure you leave the Include in Opportunity Total checkbox selected if you want to include this quote in Opportunity Totals. Type a description for the new quote and check the default company details, address, and shipping information to ensure they're correct. If you're using Custom Fields, click the Custom Fields panel to expand it and then fill out any fields you need to use. For example, 
you might indicate that the order is for a preferred customer. You use the grid to enter line items. If you like, you can use the View menu to add, remove, and arrange columns. For example, you can select checkboxes to add columns to the grid. Clear checkboxes to remove columns you're not using. And drag items up and down to change the order in which columns appear. Columns appear in the grid as you specified, and Sage CRM remembers your settings for future quotes and orders. To enter a line item, tap or click onto the grid. This order is for chairs, so for type, we'll select Item. And we'll select the 7400 series posture chair. Let's tab through the fields to quantity and we'll order 12. Say this customer is a preferred customer and you want to confirm that the unit price for this item reflects the correct pricing level for their customer type. You can click the finder to see a basic list of unit prices. To see more details, click Advanced Search. Here you can see details for the pricing levels. Say the customer type for this customer should be E, but for some reason the default unit price for customer type E was not applied. You can select it here, and the unit price is updated. You can add comments for the customer, such as information about what's included with their order. These comments will appear on printed documents. If you have special instructions for the people who will be completing this order, such as shipping instructions, you can enter them here. These instructions will not appear on printed documents. To begin entering the next line item, you can tab through the remaining fields or click the next line. This time, let's create a miscellaneous line item for a handling charge. You can hit Tab and enter a price here. After entering line items, click the Refresh button to see current totals for the quote. Now you're ready to add your 5% discount. You can specify discounts for individual line items in the Discount Percentage and Discount Amount columns, or you can specify a discount to be applied to the entire quote. You can specify a percentage or fixed discount amount and Sage CRM indicates which version will be applied here. Note that any discount you specify for the full quote is applied only to items, not to miscellaneous charges. When you're done, click the Refresh button and review your quote details. If you're satisfied, click Save. Here's the quote in read-only mode. Click Continue to proceed to the Quote Summary screen. The Quote Summary now shows the original two quotes with your new quote added. Now you've got two quotes for chairs, but if you include both versions, your forecast and totals will be artificially inflated because the customer will only ever accept one of these two quotes. To fix this, let's edit the previous quote and set it so it's not included. Click the quote to open it, edit the quote, and then clear this checkbox. Click Save to save the quote, and proceed to the Quote Summary screen. Only the most current quote for chairs is included in the opportunities for this total. So your quote amount reflects the actual amount of the order if the customer accepts the current quotes for this opportunity.
and back on the Opportunity Summary tab. The forecast and opportunity totals are automatically updated as well. Say the customer has approved these quotes and you're ready to promote them to a new order. Click the Quotes tab to review your list of quotes. We'll select the new quote for chairs and the existing quote for office supplies. And then click Promote to Order. This order completes the opportunity, so click Yes. This sets opportunity status to 1 and prevents anyone from adding new quotes to the opportunity. On the Order Entry screen, you can review the new order and edit or print it if necessary. For example, let's edit this order to name it Office Supplies and Chairs. When you're finished, save the order and click Continue. Here's the order on the Order Summary screen. To see the associated quotes, you can click the link here and click a quote to open it. Back on the quote summary screen, you can see the new order associated with your quotes. Because you closed the opportunity, you can't add any new quotes. On the summary screen for this opportunity, the stage has been updated to Sale Agreed and the status is 1. On the Opportunity Total tab, the order amount has been updated with the amount of your new order.